Hi everyone, it's Carnage6 back again with another Terminator review. This time we have the Terminator 2 Judgment Day Aoshima 1-6 scale endoskeleton figures. And they're die cast metal. These retail about... I think Sideshow was selling for around 300 bucks. It's not worth 300 bucks. And when they first came out they were selling for that. But now, if you go on eBay you should be able to, if you're lucky, get them around the $100 mark. I was lucky enough to get both of these for under $100. That's why I bought both of them. I don't suggest buying both of them. Because there's only one difference. And that is... That one is black. And one is the silver repaint. That's the only difference. Silver or black. Silver, black, silver, black. Sorry, I'm making you guys sick, aren't I? I'll stop. So, let's take them out of the box and see what we've got. And here they are in their styrofoam containers. So, let's take them out. Well, as you can see first, before we do that, they come with two weapons, the standard pulse rifle and kind of like an AK-47-like thing. Okay, and here they are out of the box. Now, when they say that they're die-cast metal, they're not kidding around. These things are heavy. I'm just going to give you a word of caution, because I bought the previous release of this version a couple of years ago, which now goes for like 300 bucks. I got it for 100 bucks, Brand new. Um... I took it out of the box and literally five seconds later I posed him on my shelf. Five seconds later he tumbled off, smashing to the floor, and the leg joints just snapped right off. They were made of plastic. Now putting plastic joints on an all metal figure is incredibly stupid. But I, and I honestly, I know on this figure the top, the um, Arm joints are plastic, but I'm not sure about the bottom parts, so I will caution you. Use the stand that comes with it. You have to screw the stand on, but use it. Because my $100 investment, that would be worth $300 if it was in mint condition, is still sitting in a box with its legs ripped off because you can't fix it. I'm going to try to fix it someday, but I mean, super glue is not going to work because it's not going to stay together. So please, please, please use the stand that comes with it, or you will have... A lot of trouble like I did. You don't want to break your $300 figure in five seconds like I did. As you can see the detail on these is really nice. I kind of prefer the silver one even though it's supposed to be the repaint. And the black one over here is supposed to be the normal version. I don't know if that's true or not but I prefer the silver one. It looks more uh... I mean this is supposed to be the Terminator 2 endoskeleton. It looks more like the Terminator 2. This looks like the more more like the uh... Salvation's endoskeleton, which I think is what they were going for. They didn't have the license to it, but they tried to make it color black and then, you know, put it out under Terminator 2. Uh, like I said, I'd go for the silver one, if you're a stickler for it being the same as T2. It just looks better. I know the black is kind of uh, blah. Okay, so like I said, everything is metal. I mean, even the little springs, the wires up there, as you can see, holding the head are all metal. Springs, they're like metal springs and stuff like that. Everything is metal, except for those joints on the arms, which be careful of, like I said before. Pretty much everything is metal. This is one heavy sucker. And we'll go over here. Everything is metal. Okay, articulation. I'm going to show you as best as I can, but I don't want to break this like I did my other one. So, we're going to have to make do with what we can. Anyway, the head does move. Be careful with it. I'm sure it spins 360. The jaw does not seem to move. Head moves back and forth. These wires are very bendy. There's these weird, I guess they're supposed to help the articulation or something. There's these weird springy joints on the back. I guess for some poses when you're posing it. I don't know. And now, the arms. Move all the way up. All the way down. Be careful of that joint. Elbows. Bend as you would expect. And the pistons work. Uh, the top of the wrist moves. The eh, I'm sure this... Okay, I'm sure this hand moves, but I can't really turn it right now and I don't want to break it. I'm sure it moves. <laughs> the chest. 
Okay, as you can see, it's got kind of a joint there that kind of, let me move this out of the way, that kind of opens. See how it kind of springs out? Gives you more posability there. Again, these are, actually these kind of feel like they're plastic, so be careful of those. But they do, they are working pistons, as you can see. They're moving, that's pretty cool. Now, legs. As I told you before, I watch out, this is what broke on mine, the, the inner ring there, it was all plastic. This might be too, so I'm not going to get too fussy with this. <laughs> Just bear with me, I don't want to break this one like I did my other one. That's why I bought these, to replace that one. Anyway, the legs do go out. And they do, sorry I'm getting so close, but this is kind of the only way I can do this. Back, forward, again I'm not going to push it too far, because I don't want it to break. The knees bend, and again as you can see this back part here, the pistons actually do work. Just be careful, be careful. And bottom of the feet turns, the foot, foot turns. This has articulation, but it's very loose, so it's that is what caused my thing to fall last time. It's just loose, so there's no stability there. Okay, it comes with this stand, which is all metal as well. And I don't know if you can see it, hopefully you can. But you have to bolt this thing, you actually have to take the screws off and bolt this thing to it. I recommend you do that, as we all know what happened with mine. Okay, one more thing. If I can do this without breaking them, each one comes with an alternate hand. Okay, there's the alternate hand. Again, be very careful taking it on and off. I almost broke the arm again. This thing is, even though it's made of metal, it's very fragile. It will break. And the alternate hand is used to hold the gun, which I've shown here. One thing that I can tell you another problem that I'm having with this right now is just after I put on the alternate hand, the joint holding up the gun is kind of loose, like the arm, the right arm there, that elbow joint. Doesn't want to hold it up. That's why I kind of have to have it propping up with two arms. So like I said, very fragile figure. Watch it. <laughs> Normal hand can hold the gun too, as I'm kind of showing with the black one. Although it's hard to see because the gun is black too. And as I said, both come with two guns. This AK-47 looking thing and the recognizable pulse rifle. I'm just going to show you the figures in greater detail. They really are a work of art, but, and all metal, so that's awesome, but, again, they have some shortcomings. And front. These are just beautiful figures to look at. And here's the back of the black endoskeleton. And the front. Here is just a close up of the black endoskeleton face. And a close up of the silver endoskeleton face. Okay, so finally. As I said, in my opinion, it's worth getting these things. Would I pay $300 for it? No. But for your money, you do get a lot. These things are pretty much solid metal. I mean, there are some plastic parts, which, especially in bad places like joints, which shouldn't be there. Um, the hands are plastic, but they kind of have to be, or else you'd snap the hands off when you're trying to put the guns in. Um, other little pieces are plastic too, but the price of die cast toys these days is through the roof. So you're actually getting a good deal. I mean, I got these both for about, one I got for under $100, like about 70 bucks, which was amazing. And the other one I got for about 100 I'd say that's about right. Especially now on eBay, they're kind of being flooded with them, so now's your chance to get one. These are just beautiful figures. And like I said, when you hold them in your hand, you can tell the weight and the craftsmanship that went into them. They're amazing. Just those kind of shortcomings, the plastic joints, the loose joints, 
you know, it has pluses. It's got two weapons, although who's going to display it with that AK-47? You're going to use a pulse rifle, pretty much. But I got to say, I would buy, obviously I did buy them, but I would buy them even if they were a little bit more expensive. They are just great to look at. Just use extreme caution, like I said. Even though they're made in metal and you think you could smash them in anything, they'd be okay. They're surprisingly fragile for being made out of metal. But, um, I mean, they're just great to look at. The other thing is that I prefer the silver one next to the black. The black is just, eh, like I said, it's just all black. There's no variation there. I mean, at least with the silver one, there's like some variations of silver. It looks way better. So I would say go for the silver one over the black one. If you have to go for the black one, if you want a Terminator Salvation style endoskeleton, then go with the black one. Um, anyway, that's my review. I hope you like it. Hope it helps you a bit. And uh, that's all for now. See ya.